Hello everyone, this is uh, Henry from UTT Technologies. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you a configuration example for PPPoE server. Let's see this example. Requirements. A residential area uses a UTT2512 device as a broadband access server, which is connected to the Internet Viewer 100M fiber optic internet connection. There are 30 residents connected to the UTT2512 to access the internet. Besides, the UTT2512 acts as a PPOE server to assign IP address and other information to them. The demands are as follows. The resi residents must uh, use their own account to dial up to the UTT2512 to access the internet with a maximum upload rate of uh, 256 KB per second and the maximum download rate is uh, 1.5 uh, megabit per second besides each resident can only die up from their own computer. The owner wants each resident to pay for the internet access by the date and uh, begin receiving re renewal notice three days before the account expiration date. When acting as a PPPoE server, the first uh, IP address signed by the UTT2512 is 10.0.0.1 uh, and the primary DNS server IP address is 8.8.8.8. Uh, the owner uses a static IP address of uh, 1 92.168.16.65 to directly connect to, to the UTT2512 with no red limiting. So, uh, how you know do we do the configuration to meet these requirements? First, we create two address group one is uh, PPPoE client and uh, the star IP address is uh, one point click on save And then create another address group for the administrator. The IP, the IP address is uh, this much. And then we go to PPPoE and click on PPPoE server and uh, enable PPPoE server. The first IP address is 10.0.0.1 and uh, the primary DNS server is 8.8.8.8. Click on save. And then we create PPVE accounts for residents. Uh, let's create one account as an example to show you how to create accounts. For example, Linda and uh, because uh, we want them to pay for the internet access by date so we set by date and uh, the let's say this much because we want them to 
dial up from their own computer so we need to choose auto or manual to bind account and Mac bonding click on save and do the same thing for like uh, 50 times to create 50 PPO accounts and then we go to global setting and we only allow PPO user to get access to the internet except the admin click on save next we need to do the relimiting to the PPOE clients and uh, admin the address group is PPOE client the, ma the maximum uh, just do it follow just do it according to the requirements you can input uh, something in it to describe to, to help you remember the relimiting click on save however the domain doesn't have any limit to it so just uh, put low limit to the uh, the main PPOE account. So now we have uh, successfully created uh, two relimiting rules. One is fee for PPOE client clients, and the other is for the administrator who has no real limiting and uh, last we need to scan the administrator because we only want the user to log in the router from their own computer so here we bind the, the MAC address of uh, administrator's PC with uh, its uh, IP address and the whole configuration have been done let's uh, see the requirements again The residents must use their own account to dial up the UTT router to access the internet. The maximum upload rate and the download rate. We have uh, accomplished its requirements through the configuration. The owner wants each resident to pay for the internet access by date and begin receiving renewal notice three days before the account expiring date. We haven't do this configuration. Go to PPOE and uh, click on PPOE notice. PPOE account expiration notice mode by date and uh, enable notice by date three days before the expiration date notice title. You put every anything you want. Let's say expiration signature you can sign the the administrator's name and put anything in the notice content you like click on save let's see the requirements again so this this uh, requirements have been accomplished by the co configuration when acting as a PPO server the first IP address is signed by the router is uh, 10.001 and primary DNS server is uh, 
8.8.8.8. These requirements have uh, been accomplished by the configuration. The owner uses the static address of uh, 192.168.166.68 to directly connect to the UTT router with no red limiting. These requirements also have been accomplished by the configuration. So we have successfully meet the requirements of the customer through the configuration I have done. So this is a, a configuration example for PPPoE server. Thank you.